to Slack Spring Story Hour, featuring readings by Slack performers as we celebrate diverse female authors. My name is Rose Biggerstaff, and I'm a member of Slack's Education Committee. I'm glad to introduce to you our next reader. Eliza Harrington Verb, known by her students as Miss Lisa, is very excited to share her love of literature with you. Eliza is a longtime Capital Region performer and volunteer. Her first show at Slack was Nonsense way back in 1995. She is a cantorial vocalist, engagement coordinator, and early childhood education specialist at Congregation Gates of Heaven in Schenectady. She feels very lucky to have been able to spend so much time with her husband and two adult children during quarantine. Eliza will be reading Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You by Sonia Sotomayor, who was nominated by President Barack Obama in 2009 to be an Associate Justice for the Supreme Court becoming the first Latina to hold such a high position. Justice Sotomayor was born in the Bronx, New York. She earned a BA from Princeton University and a JD from Yale Law School. She served as Assistant District Attorney in New York County and then as a litigator. In 1991, President George H.W. Bush nominated her to the U.S. District Court, Southern District of New York. In 1997, President Bill Clinton nominated her to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. She is the author of Turning Pages, My Beloved World, and The Beloved World of Sonia Sotomayor. Illustrator Rafael Lopez works to bring diverse characters to children's books and to produce and promote books that reflect and honor the lives of all young people. He won Pura Belpre medals for Drum Dream Girl and Book Fiesta, and has also received three Pura Belpre honors, two America's Book Awards, and the 2017 Tomas Rivera Children's Book Awards and Society of Illustrators Original Art Silver Medal. He is a founder of San Diego's Urban Art Trail Movement, created 12 U.S. postal stamps, and created official posters for the 08 and 12 Obama-Biden campaigns. Thanks for joining us at Slack Story Hour. Now, here's Eliza Harrington Verb with Just Ask, Be Different, Be Brave, Be You. Hello friends, how are you? <clears throat> My name is Lisa and I am so excited to read you a beautiful book today. Um, I know you're gonna love it and I hope we learn something from it too. So the book that I have chosen to read to you today, look how beautiful the cover is. A Little bit of glare, but I think you can see the picture beautifully. This book is called Just Ask. Just Ask. The author is Sonia Sotomayor. And the illustrator is Rafael Lopez. Now, Sonia Sotomayor, the author, she is the person who thought up the idea for the book and wrote all the words. Rafael Lopez, the illustrator, drew or painted all the beautiful pictures. And the title again is Just Ask. And there's a little bit more to tell about the title. At the bottom it says, be different, be brave, be you. Now, let's see what the, oh, I have to tell you something very important about Sonia Sotomayor. She is a Supreme Court Justice of the United States. Now, what does that mean? There are things called judges, and judges know all the laws and know about the Constitution, and they're very smart. They study a lot, and they are the ones that decide whether something is legal or illegal, or decide when people have done something wrong. And she is not only a judge, she is the highest, almost the highest judge in the whole country. There are eight other people with her, and they all make up the Supreme Court. It's a very, very important job. She's friends with the president. That's how important it is. 
So let's read what Sonia has to say in her book, Just Ask. Let's see. Now, if you get this book later, maybe at the library or from the bookstore because you like it so much, there is a letter here from Sonia. It's very long, so I'm not going to read it. I hope that you will read it with a parent or a grandparent or someone that loves you to help you know exactly why Sonia wrote this book. But let's read the book itself. Hi, I'm Sonia. This one right here is Sonia. My friends and I are planting a garden. Hmm. Gardens are magical places. Thousands of plants bloom together, but every flower, every berry, and every leaf is different. Each has a different smell, different color, different shape, and different purpose. Some flowers need lots of sunlight. Others thrive in the shade. Some have to be trimmed regularly, while others are better off left alone. Some trees and flowers are more fragile, and others are more hardy. That means they're stronger. Kids are all different, too. Some of us are in a hurry, and others take more time. Some of us seem shy and quiet, while others are chatty and loud. Some of our differences are easy to spot. Others take longer to notice. Each of us grows in our own way. So, if you are curious about other kids, just ask. Just ask. Let's see what she's talking about. Not everyone is comfortable asking questions about themselves, but I don't mind. Hmm. What am I doing? Now, first of all, she's sitting in a flower, which is very funny because I don't think she's small enough to sit in a real flower or this is a very big flower. I think this is just in her imagination. But if you see right there, she's holding something in her hand She's giving herself a shot. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Let's see. Several times a day, I prick my finger to measure the sugar in my blood. And I give myself shots of medicine called insulin. I do this because I have diabetes and my body doesn't make insulin naturally like other people's. Even though this can sometimes hurt, I gather all of my courage to do it, to be healthy. Did you know that there's sugar in our food? Not just candy. There's sugar in rice, spaghetti, strawberries. All kinds of things have sugar. Sugar gives us energy. But sometimes people's bodies can't break it down and they could get very sick. Sonia. Sonia could get very sick. Do you ever need medicine to be healthy? Hmm, let's see. I do. My name is Raphael, and I have asthma, which means I sometimes have trouble breathing. Now, I love what he is doing here. This is called a cairn. He's built a structure with just rocks, no glue, but he's painting it, which is so beautiful for a garden. When it happens, when I have trouble breathing, I take a break and I use my inhaler with medicine to make breathing easier. He has the inhaler right here in his hand. Right there, it's blue, you can see. I know when I put the book right close like that, I lose the light, so I'll have to work on that, okay? Quiet time helps me slow down and catch my breath. Well, friends, I have to tell you something. 
I also have asthma. And I have an inhaler just like Raphael does. I even have a blue one like he does. And if I have trouble breathing, I open my mouth and I put it in and I chip, and it sprays and it helps me breathe. Sprays medicine into my lungs to help me breathe. My inhaler is like a tool to help my body. Do you use a tool to help your body? I'm Anthony and I use a wheelchair to help me get around. He does use a tool. Even though I can't run with my legs, I can go super fast. How do you get from place to place? Do you use a wheelchair or do you run on two legs? Or maybe you use crutches? Or maybe you ride in a wagon? Maybe you use a cane. Well, here are two children who get around in some way, a different way. My name is Madison. And my guide dog, Lucky, helps me get places safely because I'm blind. Blind means she can't see. Let's see, I bet he uses that, yeah. My friend Arturo, there's Arturo right there. He uses a cane to get around. His cane is right here. It is red and white, so it's very easily seen by people standing near him. Even though we can't see with our eyes, we strengthen our other senses and notice lots of details others may miss. We can hear with our ears, smell with our noses, and feel with our hands. So they can't see anything. It's just black when they look in their eyes, but they can still hear and taste and smell and feel. How do you use your senses? Hmm. I'm VJ. I learn about the world differently because I can see, but I can't hear. Hmm. I'm deaf. Deaf means that your ears don't work. Most of the time, I communicate with people using my face and hands through sign language. It's cool to know another language. Now you can see, I don't know sign language, so I'm not sure what he's saying, but somebody who knows his language will understand him and they will say it. Now, I have to tell you something. I told you that I have asthma and I use an inhaler. Well, I also have something that is wrong with my hearing. My ears don't work that well anymore. And I'll tell you why. I have something in my brain, it's kind of like a rock. It's about this big. And it shouldn't be there, but it grew there by, it grew there anyway. And it does not hurt, but it makes it so I can't hear very well. And so I can hear better, I use a tool, not sign language, I use a little machine called a hearing aid. See that? It's a little teeny machine. This part goes inside my ear and this part has a microphone. So when you talk to me, even if you whisper, it makes it louder inside my ear and I can hear. You might see children wearing hearing aids around their ears. It's there to help them hear. You can just ask them about it if you're not sure. So VJ says, I also love reading and writing. What about you? I'm Bianca and I have dyslexia. So I have to work really hard and take my time when I am reading and writing words. Reading does not come easily for her. She has to really work at it. Sometimes I use computer programs to help me. I love learning by doing things. My imagination is full of ideas and I'm very good at making art from the pictures I see in my mind. Now, 
if we look at this picture, you can see, here she is. This is what's inside her imagination. It's quite beautiful, although this one looks a little like the coronavirus, ah! but it's not. I think it's just in her imagination. And then she takes what's in her imagination and she draws them on her paper. That's a great way to use your imagination. And even though she can't read or write very well, she draws quite beautifully. Hmm. Are you really good at something? I'm great at dinosaurs. Ha, I know all about them. I'm Jordan and I have autism. Organizing and counting all my dinosaurs again and again makes me feel calm. My classmate, Tiana, also has autism, but it's different for her. She doesn't talk at all. But I like to talk, especially I like to talk about dinosaurs. Have you ever had a friend who loves something so much that all they want to do is talk about it all day long? And sometimes you want to hear it, and sometimes you do not. Sometimes you're tired of hearing about trains or dinosaurs. Sometimes to be a good friend, you have to listen. What do you like to talk about? For me, listening comes more easily than talking and I'm a really good listener. My name is An, and I speak with a stutter. So I sometimes repeat a word or get stuck when I try to say it. It may take me a little longer to express myself, and sometimes I'm too shy to talk. But I understand everything that goes on. So when An tries to talk, sometimes the words don't want to come out of her mouth right. They may come out with repeating sounds over and over again. She knows the right answer. Sometimes she just can't get it out. Now, I have to tell you something really cool. There is somebody so famous and so important who also has a stutter. And I bet you know who they are. It's President Joe Biden. He stutters. When he was a little boy, he was like on. He didn't like to talk. He was very shy because his words came out difficult, choppy. It was hard for him to say anything. But he practiced and he worked with therapists and now he can talk. And can you imagine being the president of the United States and not being able to talk to people? Wow! but he can do it even though he has a stutter. Do you ever wonder if people understand you? Hmm. I do. My name is Julia. Sometimes I make, I wiggle, or I make sounds that I can't control because I have Tourette syndrome. People may look at me funny because they think I'm not paying attention or I'm just acting out. But it's not true. I'm listening. I don't always like having to explain. It frustrates me, but it helps when I tell people that it's just what my body does. Sometimes her body does things and she can't control it. It would be so scary and frustrating. She has a lot to deal with. Do you ever feel frustrated like Julia? Hmm. My name is Manuel, and I have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. It's also called ADHD. I can get frustrated when I feel really feel the need to move around even though I'm supposed to sit still. When my teachers and friends are patient with me, 
If I forget something or get distracted, I can get myself back on track. Hmm. He just needs a little help and a little time. Because sometimes you just need to jump and run and then you can come back and concentrate. What's helpful to you? Hmm. I'm Nolan. It is helpful to me when the food I eat has a clear label that says nut free. Because I am allergic to nuts. They can make me so sick that I would have to go to the hospital if I ate any, even by accident. So, I always tell people about my allergy and ask if any food has nut ingredients. Speaking up helps keep me healthy. Now, food allergies, I bet all of you have some experience with. I bet you've all known someone who's allergic to peanuts or milk or nuts. And that means you can't have a peanut butter jelly sandwich in your room in your classroom and you need to wash your hands right after you eat so nobody gets any allergens on them. It can be hard, but it's very important to keep our friends safe. How do you use your voice? Hmm. I love to sing and I love to talk. <laughs> I love to make new friends and be included. I am Grace, and I have Down syndrome. Hmm. Kids like me with Down syndrome have an extra building block called a chromosome inside our bodies. But we are all different from each other, too. I can do almost anything any other kid can do, though Learning new things does take me some time. One way I learn is to ask questions. I think that's the best way to learn, asking questions. What helps you learn? Hmm. By the way, these building blocks, these chromosomes, we all have them in our body. Most of us have 46 of them, 23 pairs. People with Down syndrome have 47. They have an extra. Hmm, I wonder how that happens. Sometimes it happens, but they're still people and they can still learn and do all kinds of things and be good friends. It's me, Sonia again. We're back to the author, Sonia Sotomayor. I ask questions too. When something seems different, or new, I just ask my parents or my teachers and they help me to understand, especially if my friends don't feel ready to explain. This is what I have learned. Imagine if all of the plants in this garden were exactly the same. Like, what if we could only grow peas? only peas, that would mean no strawberries or cucumbers or carrots. Those are three of my favorite foods. I mean, I like peas too, but if I only had peas, that would be terrible. It might also mean no trees or roses or sunflowers. They're so beautiful. It'd be sad if we didn't have those. Just like in our garden, all the ways we are different make our neighborhood, our whole world really, more interesting and fun. And I would say more beautiful. And just like all of these plants, each of us has unique powers to share with the world and make it more interesting and richer. What will you do with your power? Hmm. That was Just Ask by Sonia Sotomayor. Now, if you like this book, 
you can go to the library. This one is from the library. We all have local libraries and you can take this book out or if you really loved it and you want to look at it every day forever, you can go to a bookstore and ask for a book by Sonia Sotomayor and they will get it for you. What a beautiful story and a beautiful book. You know, one thing that she didn't mention, one other tool that we, a lot of us use to help our bodies is glasses. I wear glasses, whoops, there we go. And I bet a lot of you wear glasses and glasses help me see, just like my hearing aids help me hear and my inhaler helps me breathe. It's all what makes me special. Well, it has been wonderful spending this time with you and I hope you will go out and read a beautiful garden book. Maybe plant a garden of your own as it gets warmer. Maybe you want to learn more about Justice Sotomayor. She is a very interesting person. Well, it's been really nice spending this time with you, friends. And I hope you get to play outside and read lots of books and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!